Hi, my name is Sarah Fancy, and I want to tell you about my boundary class. It's called Exploring Boundaries, Freedom Through Autonomy. We're going to be looking at how boundaries play out in your life. I've reduced it to three different ways. The first way I want to talk about is where your boundaries are being encroached upon. You know, where you feel invaded or, you know, you feel like everyone is uh, pushing your boundaries, okay? The second way that we're going to look at boundaries is where you're not enforcing boundaries or putting boundaries in place. And then the third way that we're going to look at boundaries is where you need to dissolve boundaries that you may have forgotten about. You might have put them in place a long time ago and forgotten about them, but they're still there and they're preventing you from having experiences or, you know, from letting anyone in, letting love in or abundance or, you know, whatever it is. I want to talk a little bit more about the first way of exploring boundaries, which is where you feel your boundaries are being encroached upon. There was a time in my life where I had a repetitive dream and it was about people being in my bedroom that I didn't know and they were having a party. Or they'd be in my living room having a party or they'd be in my kitchen making food and having a party. And they were total strangers. I didn't even know them. And I would be like, they've got to go. I've got to get them out. And it was always difficult to get them out of my house. And that dream, you know, happened to me a lot. And in hindsight, I realized at that time in my life, I didn't have any boundaries. I didn't have any boundaries. I had neighbors that were on top of me that were affecting me in ways that I couldn't sleep, that... Um, Anyway, I had, there was a lot of problems I was having in my life, and that was indicative of me not having any boundaries. So now, my lifestyle and everything, I don't have that dream anymore, and I've managed to put boundaries in place where I feel that um, I'm safe in my life and that, you know, I'm, I don't feel invaded anymore. The second way of relating to boundaries and exploring boundaries is when I talked about not having any boundaries, you know, needing to put boundaries in place. And since I've been involved with horses, they've actually taught me a lot about boundaries because they're all about that. Creating spatial boundaries with horses if you don't have a boundary with a horse, you're just going to get mowed down. And it can be really dangerous. And uh, <clears throat> they've taught me about uh, negotiating space, having strong physical boundaries, and mental boundaries, and emotional boundaries. And I like to work with horses in a way where we're moving and we move in a way where we don't touch. And how can you have a horse follow you everywhere and kind of dance, it's like a dance, you know, with them, where you're not even like touching at all. I really like to explore that. This also brings me to a point about boundaries being fluid. Okay, so, you know, boundaries aren't always static. We can build a brick wall or have a wall as a boundary. That wall eventually is going to crumble. It's going to come down. It might take a while, but it's going to come down. And, you know, we're continually growing and changing. So our boundaries need to change as well, be adaptable, flexible. I want to address the third way of exploring boundaries which is about dissolving boundaries that aren't working for you anymore. These boundaries could have been implement, implemented a long time ago, such as like in a relationship where 
you are hurt by someone and then you say, I'm never going to let anyone do that to me again or I'm never going to fall in love again. It's too painful. And then we forget about those boundaries, yet they play out in our life and that's what happens. Like we aren't able to let anyone in or fall in love or, you know, it could be to do with uh, other things too. Like I mentioned earlier, like abundance joy even when you have a boundary around the heart it's going to isolate you and you're going to feel lonely okay so in this course we're looking at those kind of boundaries too the ones that we've forgotten about that really don't need to be there and i like to think of it as dissolving them you know to allow energy to come in and also energy to flow out as we go through the course, we're going to go through elements. We're going to start with earth, water, air, fire, and ether. And in each element, we're going to look at boundaries to do with that element, such as earth is to do with physical things, your home, possessions, it's to do with territory, it's to do with business. So we're going to explore all those areas and we're doing them in the form of exercises and for earth we're actually going to do a tabletop constellation and if you don't know what that is you're going to find out if you do the course but it's a really great way of getting a reflection and feedback of where you're at in your life and what's important to you what you value and it's a way of changing things in your life that are really not working for you. The course also comes with a book that I've written and the book contains all the exercises, there's meditations that we're going to do with each element and you're going to have some homework to do between each class and it's all going to be in a book as well so you get that if you do the course it's like going to be like a download and each class is 90 minutes and there's six of them and the series starts in January in the middle of January and I'm really hoping that you will want to go on this journey with me I feel it's uh, going to be super beneficial to you I feel it's a way of really diving deep into your life and looking at where things need to change. And the exercises and the meditations are going to support you in those changes.